Hey there, Zuka family. First of all, I'm going to apologize for the vertical video. I hate vertical videos, but this cart really kind of lends itself to such a video. Uh, we're going to highlight the brand new modification Eric recently released, which sold out in 44 minutes. And that is the sliding tray that goes right on top of the handle. So, just dumping right in, ignore the relic. You're going to pull the knob on the side to release the handle to release the tray, and it slides all the way out. To give you an idea of how far out it comes safely, it's a solid foot right there. How much weight can you put on it? A lot, a lot of weight. I'm putting at least half my weight and I'm about 240. It ain't going anywhere, okay. So what you're going to do is remove the two screws that hold the handle down, in case you didn't know there's a handle like I didn't, it's a handle. There's a plastic piece underneath that's going to fall and just throw it away. Then you're going to remove the two screws on the back. These are three millimeter hex heads. There is a nylon lock washer, lock nut, underneath on both sides for this one. Either get uh, a set of needle nose vice grips or a socket and you're good to go on that. And then Eric told me all about this right here. So these notches are actually locking points for your tray. So you can put it on the flat part and then push it right in. And you can hear it. So you have lots of options as far as how far out you want the tray to go. The screw holes that he used for manufacturing, holding all the parts together can also be used. They are chamfered, but they're not the best. You get some rock, but you can use them if you really, really so desire. But either way, that's it, goes right in. There's a nice little tray for keeping you pushing things on the back. Obviously, you don't want that in the front. The whole thing is powder coated. And remember, minus the uh, sliding portion of it, Eric manufactures all the parts and this part here too. I did want to point out something that you may or may not want. When you pull out the release mechanism, it actually has a bit of a keyway. Maybe I can turn the flash on? Oh, I can. It has a bit of a keyway, which you can use if you just want to slide it in and out. And then of course, once you rotate that, you go back into the locking configuration. It does only lock on one side, but that's quite okay. It's not necessary to lock all the way around. And I do believe, if you're really clever enough, which won't be necessary, grab these guys here and totally remove entire tray. Let's see if we can do that. Let's pause this real quick. Okay, yeah. If you want to remove the tray, you can do that. And it takes you back out to the sliders. And there you go. What it looks like from underneath. It gives you all the hardware necessary. And these are nylon locks as well. That guy back there is what you can replace. So they're not going to back out since they're nylon. And yeah. So that's it right there. Worth every single penny. I paid $250. I believe that is Eric's asking price. So I did not get a deal. I just happened to be one of the few who asked for one just in time. I know he's coming out with more, so be patient.